In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you how to stop OneDrive from downloading files from the cloud. Start by accessing your OneDrive account through Microsoft365.com or OneDrive.Live.com. Then go to My Files in the left menu. Here, look at the folder structure and determine where the files are downloading from. You may want to allow some folders to continue syncing with your local device. So once you know which folders you want to sync and the ones you want to block, head to the desktop and click the OneDrive Cloud icon in the taskbar. Now hit the cog icon and then select Settings from the dropdown. In Settings, go to Account in the left menu. Then click Choose Folders. You can now uncheck the folders you want to stop syncing. And to finish, hit OK. If you want to keep syncing your OneDrive folders, but you don't want the files to download while you're working, you could try a different approach. Start by opening OneDrive again from the taskbar. Then click the cog icon, and go to Settings. This time, head to Sync and Backup. Then click Advanced Settings. Here you'll have the option to limit the download rate. And if you click the down arrow, you can also set the download rate to a minimum of 50 kilobytes per second, which shouldn't interfere with your work. You should also consider pausing the sync while you're working. To do that, open OneDrive. Click the cog icon. And then click pause syncing, and select a duration that covers your working hours. Also, if you've already downloaded multiple files that you don't want to store on your local device, remove them by opening File Explorer. Then, locate and right-click your OneDrive folder. And select Free Up Space from the drop-down. This will remove all the files, and replace them with a placeholder file that takes up far less space on your local device. If you're using Windows 7 or 8, there's a more extreme method to prevent OneDrive downloading files from the cloud, which involves using Group Policy Editor. If you have it installed, type gpedit.msc into the Windows search bar, and then head up and open the Group Policy Editor. Otherwise, you'll need to install it. To do that, right-click on your desktop, and create a new text document. Name the document anything you like, and then double-click to open it. Now head to the video description, and copy the code from the link. Then go back to the document and paste in the code. When you're done, head up to File, and then Save As. Set the type to All Files. Then add .bat to the end of the file name. When that's done, hit Save, and you'll see a new bat file appear on the desktop. You can now delete the text file. Next, right-click the bat file, and select Run as Administrator. A command prompt window will open and begin installing the Group Policy Editor. Once that's complete, press any key to continue. Now head to the Windows search bar and type gpedit.msc. Then go up and open GP Editor. Here, go to Local Computer Policy. Then double-click Computer Configuration. Administrative Templates. Windows Components. Then scroll down to OneDrive. Now select Prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage. And a dialog box will pop up. In the dialog box, head over and click Enabled. And finally, go down and click OK. And this will permanently stop file synchronization between the cloud and your device. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.